everybody doing? I hope you had a good week. Sometimes it is what it is, right? Sorry if you heard my birds. Nothing I can do can just make them shut up if I'm talking. So, let's start off with our word for today. Calm. In order to be at peace, to be calm, you have to do that from the inside out, right? So we have to, this week we're gonna be calm. We're not gonna let nothing take that calmness away. So what we have to say is all week long, I just don't care. Not that you don't care feelings. You don't care to let that negativity into your spiritual soul. So I'm going to say, I don't care. Friend calling for the 15th time to talk about the same problem. Mm -mm, not answering the phone today. I'm sorry, but I got to put you on mute. Sometimes you have to put friends, family, you have to put them on mute. Now, Miss Nita, how do you put your job on mute? Well, I will do what I'm supposed to do because that's what I get paid for and that's what I care about. So I will do what I need to do. But what I'm going to put on mute is anyone who's coming with that negativity. We Most of us work from home. Some of us, some of us don't. We still got to have face-to-face. -face. So to in your mind, say, calm. I don't care. I'm not letting this enter. Calm. If you take phone calls, I don't care. Thank you. I'll be glad to take care of that for you. Calm. So what's going with calm today? What other cards am I using? It's already yours. Believe it in order to claim it. It's already yours. Believe it in order to claim it. It's already yours. And on the back, I did do the picture this time because let's talk money, right? Let's not play around. That is one of the biggest things that we, uh, we ask for is financial freedom. So I put paid to the order of me. One million. I'm not greedy. And I'm asking God to sign it. ASAP. So that's the first card. How calm would that make me? Real calm, right? Your body is the temple of your spirit. Feed it and it will thrive. But you got to feed it right. We putting too many things in our bodies that don't belong. So don't try to go cold turkey on all of it. Everyone who's ever asked me, how did I become a vegetarian? Um, I didn't do it cold turkey. That's the first thing. You have to wean yourself off of it. You have to do that for toxic people in your life as well. You have to wean yourself off of them. Trying to do a cold turkey ain't gonna work because then you're gonna start saying, well, I should have, well, they won't try and, no, you have to start weaning yourself off. So for food that you put in your body, if you eat meat, start with the meat that you can go without first. So what I did was I started with beef first because I really wasn't a steak eater or a beef eater so that was that was easy start with that first then end with the hardest thing and do you know the hardest thing for people to get rid of is chicken and on this card it has vegetables and fruit so that's about feeding the inside of your temple your body next Manifestation is all about making a decision and never budging from that decision. 
So how many times have you made a decision, but then you changed your mind four times until it never got done because you kept changing your mind? So those are my cards for this week. I hope by the fourth week of me doing this, anyone who's watching has their has created some type of board, whether it's inspirational, whether you call it your spiritual board, call it what you want because it's yours. Then you can do this with me and already have yours and then tell me below what cards you use. You can sum it up. You don't have to write the whole thing. Just tell me the highlights. So, I'm not keeping you long. What's the spiritual word for today? Well, it's a big one. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. How many times you heard that? Do you know what song, what uh, passage it is? Do you know what scripture? It is Psalm 23, 1 through 3. Psalm 23, 1 through 3. Let's break it down right quick before I let you go. So first, the first part is, the Lord is my shepherd. What do you consider a shepherd? Do you see that as someone you have to follow? Someone who's doing danger to you? Someone who will tell you to do bad things? Is that what you see a shepherd as? So a shepherd, that is someone you feel safe with, that you know is taking care of you. Can you say that about everybody in your life? Is everybody trying to take care of you? Do you feel safe with that person? Well, you can with the Lord because he said he is your shepherd. Now you see, he a shepherd doesn't just make you do things. You're not a robot. So you're not just following. You have to, you have to trust in that shepherd to lead you. You have to trust that that shepherd is leading you to the right thing. And that's why I feel about my Lord. He is my shepherd. Um, the next thing says, I shall not be in want. Okay, so I want these shoes. I want that bag. I want that money. I want that guy. That's not the type of want. It's, are you satisfied? You have to learn to be satisfied with what you, what you have that's in your control. That way, if you have someone in your life that you don't want in your life and they're toxic, you have to step back and say, why do I continue to have them in my life? They don't control my life, my decisions. So you can't always blame the person. Because sooner or later you have to ask yourself, why am I continuously letting this person bother me? What, what am I getting out of this relationship? Because everything is a relationship. So when you satisfied in what the Lord has given you and you satisfied that he is your shepherd and you will let him lead you, then that's what this passage is talking about. Next, he makes me lie down in green pastures. What do you think of in landing up? Well, first of all, I was thinking of bugs, but you know, I got problems. But anyway, let's go deeper than that. Laying down in the field, no worries, just you at peace. You ever feel that way sometimes when you're um, in the shower or you're taking a nice hot bath? You got all your 
your uh, your bath essentials in there and got your glass of wine or even your cup of coffee, whatever. And at that moment, you at peace. Well, imagine being that way all the time. You don't have to be in a situation to feel that way. You feel that way all the time at peace. Imagine that feeling. He leads me besides quiet. He leads me beside quiet waters. So waters is storms. You ever think of a water when it's like a rustling brook or uh, you're thinking of storm. And, and um, if you ever went uh, wild water rapping, you see rapping? Wild water rapping. Was I rapping on the water? What? what? Wild water rapids. And how everything is just moving and, and you just, it's like, that's exciting. But not when it's chaos around you and your life and everything around you is always, you are always in that chaos. But he said he will steal that water where it's calm. And it's just that brook that you hear, that, that calm brook. Those that is what your soul, your spirit will feel when you have that relationship with God, when you let him be your shepherd. He restores my soul. There it is. No matter what you've been through, no matter what things um, have been done to you, that anger, the hurt, he restores that because he replaces it with love. He replaces that with his divine, unconditional love. Imagine having all that on the inside of you. What type of person will you eventually be if you had all that? Nothing will matter, would it? So, I'm not a preacher, thinking or all the names. I'm just someone who's trying to find her way, love her God, making sure I fill my soul with His Word. It's okay, guys. See you next Wednesday. Bye.